Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome to another one of my Asana training videos. In this video, I'm going to discuss whether you can use Asana as a sales CRM. As somebody who provides support on both Asana, which is obviously a project management tool, but also on a sales CRM like Pipedrive, Clients of mine often ask, can I use Asana as a sales CRM or could I use Pipedrive for project management? And the answer is, it kind of depends. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you do want one-on-one -on -one help with Asana, setting up, optimizing your account, training your team, or even automating parts of your project management system, then check out the link in the description below to learn more about my Asana consulting options. So let's get into this video and let's talk about whether you can use Asana as a sales CRM and how that might look. So I think, yes, it could be used as a sales CRM if your sales process is fairly straightforward. And you can see here I've set up a demo project and this is what I would describe as a fairly simple CRM workflow. So I've got this project called Sales CRM and I think the board layout is particularly useful for this type of um, workflow. So compared to CRMs like Pipedrive or HubSpot that use this board sort of Kanban layout, we can set up something very similar here in Asana. As you can see with my columns here or my sections, I've got uh, sections for where new leads can be input. I can, I can then drag it over here to contact made, to meeting booked, needs to find, and then in negotiation. So I have a really simple, clean way of laying out what stage uh, different leads are at in my sales journey. If I go to my customized options here, you can see I've customized my project and I've added some custom fields, um, which being on the premium plan, this is an option that I have. And so I've got some fields here for things like the lead value. If I want to track, you know, what is the sales opportunity or the value of this opportunity? I've also got a field here for the email address of the contact. And so I could add my own extra fields in here. Let's say I want to add a new field for phone. Right, let's just call it phone. I can make this a text field and I could add that in here. So then I can put in a phone number and uh, I can kind of use Asana as a bit of a contact management system as well. So I think adding some custom fields for the different types of um, uh, metrics or pieces of information that you need to track, maybe deal type or products, um, all that information could be stored in here as custom fields or even using tags as well. I could actually have, um, I can tag different products in here. On my, uh, in my task description, I could put in information about the deal, you know, um, maybe Tim needs help with website design and branding. You know, I could keep my kind of details about the project in here. And you can even see I'm using subtasks for tracking like um, various key things that I need to do. So reaching out via email and phone, booking the meeting, sending quotes, qualifying the lead, all that kind of thing. Also on this customized tab, you can actually see using Asana's new template feature, I've actually created a new lead template. So a really simple way of me being able to set up what is the checklist that I need to go through for every new lead. So what I've done here is I've said, right, each lead needs to be closed seven days after the task is created. You know, I've got this quick turnaround time that I want to stick to. I've put in a default lead value and I've got my checklist there ready to go of what I need to do. So actually let's rearrange that. That should be probably about there. And then so when I have a new lead, I can um, click over here into the, my new lead column. And instead of just starting with a blank task, I could choose my new lead template. And I could say, right, you know, Bill Smith and click into there. And you can see my default value is filled in. My checklist is ready to go. And I can now start to um, work on this lead and, uh, and move it through these stages. Some other things that I've done to customize this project, if I click on over to my overview screen, uh, using the key resources section, uh, I've actually created a, a sales script here. This is obviously just fake text, but if you wanted to lay out documentation for your team and scripts and questions for people to ask, you could actually lay that out here all in the uh, project overview. And if you're on the business plan, you can see down here, I've actually created some goals as well. So these were set up in my goals section and I've linked this goal to my sales CRM project. So if I have this goal to close $10,000 in sales, uh, maybe I'm at 5,000 so far, you can see it's linked to my sales CRM project. And so it's a really nice way of linking this project to specific goals or KPIs that I want to track as well. And so there you go, That, as you can see, that's a sort of a fairly, fairly um, straightforward way of me being able to manage a simple sales process here in Pipedrive. So, 
Why would this not work? Firstly, I think there are some limitations around reporting. Um, there is some data in here that I could export if I wanted to, and I could do that analysis in Excel, but Asana out of the box doesn't come with great reporting. If I go to my dashboard, you can see I, I can get some idea of like, here I can see for tasks that I have open, um, there's $27,000 worth, $27, worth of value, and I can see what stage they're in. But with a full, more capable CRM, something like Pipedrive, for example, you're gonna get much more advanced reporting around deal conversion. You're gonna get things like revenue forecasting, which is really useful. You're gonna be able to track activities that people are completing, who's closing deals, all that type of thing that you would expect with a more built out CRM. Some other things that we don't have in here that you would get in a CRM are things like email integration. So from here, I can't email the client, but again, in a tool like Pipedrive or HubSpot, you could actually compose an email from a template and actually send that directly to the lead through that sales CRM system. So it kind of streamlines that outreach process. And I think tools like Pipedrive are really well designed for things like contact management. I mean, I can store you know names and phone numbers and emails, but um, that's not really what Asana is designed for. And I think something like Pipedrive, it's much easier to store contact information and actually filter and go back and search for contacts that meet certain criteria if you want to build different segments of contacts as well, especially if you're gonna be um, connecting your CRM to a marketing service like uh, ConvertKit or ActiveCampaign. Um, if you're gonna be doing any kind of email marketing, you may want to use an actual sales CRM instead. And so those are my thoughts on Asana as a CRM. In quick summary, like I said, I think it can be useful for a pretty straightforward process. But if, like me, you want more powerful tools that a sales CRM can offer, you may want to look at something like Pipedrive or HubSpot or any of the other options out there. And that's where something like Zapier can be really useful. I've connected my Pipedrive account to Asana so that when I win a deal, I can create new tasks or projects in my system as well. Uh, and Zapier is the kind of glue that holds all of that together. So I hope this video has been useful. As I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.